What's up guys, it's Abdubla7 and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. I haven't been on for a while, but um, don't worry, I still know what I'm doing. I haven't been on because me and my friend Jubbo 100, as you all know, um, he's basically, me and him were playing Diablo 3. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you may as well just die. Alright, it is one of the best games on PC at the moment. Um, great online game to play as a co-op. Um, and obviously, playing that, I haven't had much time to play on Pokemon Platinum. But reading, just reading from a little guidebook, I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to head over to the gym, which should be around here. You see Team Rocket have taken over this um, this city. I also read that once I've beaten this gym leader, I get to um, get Fly. And once I have Fly, I can go and get that Eevee I was on about. And then tonight, if I record again, I can go get an Umbreon once I level it up. So it's all good stuff from here. So here's our one of our friends, Dawn. And I don't have my, I have my mouse in the way, but yeah, I can move that. So hopefully I should get a lot done in this episode, and that is... One of the gym leaders coming out. He's the water gym. I don't know if we're doing the water gym this episode. Is that the gym? Hello, dude and young lady. You challenged the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you, she's young, but she's born a genius. All right, so no, this this crash awake isn't the. I didn't think he was. Um, I think this one's a fighting type gym. I'm not sure, but uh, fires fires all right against fighting types. I shouldn't shouldn't have any major problems. So I might as well go and have a bash. Let's have a bash at this gym. Let's talk to this guy first. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? The lead gym leader is a fighting type, I thought so. Flying physical type person could be a real trouble for her. And that is good. Very good. Because we have the best, the one and only, Mr. Alakazam. Oh no, we don't. Ah. Yeah, so pr basically, I'm playing Ruby at the same time, and I have Alakazam on Ruby. I apologise, I got you guys excited. I do not have an Alakazam. That was on Ruby. Alakazams are really good though. I do like Alakazams. How am I supposed to get into the... I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in to the gym. These little things are blocking my way. Uh, talk to him again. I apologise if there's no sound. I just came onto um, Camstasia this morning, and then um, I looked at the audio, and it was automatically set to the stereo mix. And that's Java. Get rid of that crap. Um, yeah, and I've changed it to my microphone, obviously because it'll be the sound. I'd rather be recording my voice than the sound. It's more important. But the sound is also good, so I'll have a look. Oh, I'm pushing this bag along. Alright. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so the question is, can I get past this guy without him seeing me? Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> Success. But I can't get anywhere, though. Um, uh, let's go back across here. Back up here. Was I supposed to push that? I don't know if I should have pushed that. Oh, I can push it again. That's probably why. Is there anything down here? I can't obviously can't get past that bit where the hurls in the floor. So if I push that down again to get down to here, so I'm gonna have to push that down again. Oh no, there we go. Push that up. It's quite weird the way you walk into it and you push it. It's, it's a cool concept. It's nice. I think we're nearly at the gym leader now. I like to avoid the trainers, but if I fail at the gym, I'll go and do the trainers because obviously it gives me XP. And it's a decent amount. Uh, 
Right, so I need to go down there and knock some of them over. Is that what you're trying to say to me? Does this go down? This train is in the little rings, but you don't really need to go inside the wrestling rings. I think I'm just going to have to fight this guy. It was inevitable to get across to the other side. But at least we'll be able to find out whether fire is any good against fighting. And he hasn't got any... Well, I wouldn't really class that as a fighting type. It's more of a toxic poison type. It's flame real. And, um, as you'll know, level 34, uh, which means I'm nearly level 36. And that means the final form of my evolutions, which is awesome. I'll try and record for like an hour, um, or maybe a bit more, just because I haven't recorded in a while, and um, plainly because we've been, me and Jubba, Jubba, been playing loads of other games, so I haven't really had time for doing the recording, but you get an hour out of it, so it's not like I'm recording a 10 minute video, you are getting a lot. So it's not, it's not like you're losing a lot, an hour is a big size. What are? He said flying and psychic type. There's that's what the that's what the fighting are most effective. No, the that's what we're most effective against him. Which is good because I've got my Star Rivia leveling up, and obviously he's a flying type. And so he's gonna make me. Go and see if I can. Don't want to get them stairs. Always trying to avoid these trainers, which are quite easy, depending on which way they want to. Which way they want to go. I don't think that I'll want to fall. It's not going to want to swing in that right direction, is it? No. Hell no. Hey. Quite a weird gym this, pushing the little punch bags around to knock the tyres over. Alright, and that means we can get down to this one. It's annoying because if you accidentally knock into it and it can't go anywhere, you have to watch it until it stops. And that's why I can't move straight away. It's like a maze. Get down there. Broke one of them. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna have to go see if I can dodge this trainer. Push that. If you're a fan of um, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, um, Starcraft, Diablo 1, 2, 2, 1 and 2, definitely have a look at Diablo 3, it's amazing. Really long as well. You need to go have a look at that. Um, preferably if you have friends that you want to play with as well, because it, it makes it more fun when you play online with friends. And that means I can go against the woman now. And knock that out of the way. And there we go, we're against the woman. And that will obviously open a way for me to get out. Alright, so if we save it. I'm not gone, my gym badges. So we have been playing for nearly six and a half hours now, and we've got three badges, and we've seen 64 Pokemon, so... We're not doing terrible, but Pokemon is quite a long game to finish, and that's why you want to record it in long sessions like this. I maybe should have put some potions on my flame, but I'll do that if I fail. Oh, 
Alright, let's see how good this gym is. So she's only got three, which should give me a bit of a head start. Three's not, and it's got, she's got a meditator. So obviously, I think I remember Shadow Claw being quite effective. And I thought right. But I didn't kill it though. It's that's really annoying because Rock Tomb is quite effective against me. Well not really effective, but that's what Lyndon was having trouble with on his first on his first ever on his first ever boss, Mr. Brock. He couldn't get past him for a few episodes. If you have no idea who I'm talking about, you wanna go watch his videos, he's doing a fire egg playthrough. And this is one of my favourite Pokemon, I'm not joking, Lucario is a beast. He's um, a new one for this a new one for this game. He is awesome. Just look at him. He's he's badass. I need him. I can't get him. Basically I go to this island later on in the game. This guy gives me an egg. And um, once the egg hatches, I'll have the Rukaru, which is the baby version of him. And then once he evolves, he'll evolve into the beast. Lucaro. He's really cool. It's just one of one of many Pokemon. Is Fighting Type good against me? Because that certainly wasn't good against him. Do I have any potions? I have a Super Potion. I should go buy some more, definitely. It's not going to get me up very much. 53. So he's, it, it's basically just a big fighting gym, this. She'll, she'll have another attack. Ah, oh, it missed. Nice. Use flame wheel. Maybe should have used flame wheel before. <laughs> Definitely, that was a boom. So, so far so good on this. What's six now now? Macho, that's the only problem. Let's switch. Let's just gravel a canoe against these guys. Might as well. The good thing about my team is, even though I don't have like all, all the sets full, I do actually have good level Pokemon. It's not like I've got like a full set, but they're all low levels. I actually do have good levels, like 25, and I've got my Star Ruby. That's 25. It's, they're not bad. Not like I've got like level 11s or anything. I don't think I have anything here that I'd do very much damage to it. Magnitude probably isn't very effective. No, I didn't think so. And that's Graveler down. Obviously I'll be using Graveler for water. No, wait. Gra yeah, Graveler for the fire gym. Because obviously rocks very effective against fire. But other than that, he's not really, not really that useful. Even though he does, he is badass. We should get um, a few good attacks with this because this is more effective. Because he's one of the super effective people. Yeah, I thought so. But she's going to use a bloody potion. not gonna let herself go like that. Oh, maybe she does. She kills me though. She hasn't used any potions, which is weird. I bring on Turgopy. I don't think I have any potions though, which is a bit of a bitch. End. So hopefully Flame can finish it off and I've won the battle, but it will be tight. It's flame Wheel, I might as well. And there we go, I think we've done it. Nice, we've done it. But she never used any potions, which was weird. I expected her to use potions as she's a gym leader. Oh well. Very good. So we've got four gym badges now. Nice. 
Except this June badge. So we got the cobble badge from Maylene. Which was awesome. And I think this, she said, allows us to use f fly now, so I can, yeah, fly. So all I need to do now is go find fly, and then I can put it on my star over here, and then I can fly to the city and get Eevee. So hopefully I'll be able to do that episode. We're only 15 minutes in and we're beating the gym. Nice. Tm yeah, probably a fire type move. Punch, drain punch, yeah. Not a fire type move, I mean a fighting type. There we go, so we're beating the gym. Let's quickly save that. So we have got four bitches. Ba <laughs> we've got four bitches now. We've got four badges now. <laughs> Which is awesome. See how fast you can beat a gym? Like, I spent an episode on that, um, that psychic type. Wherein, as a matter of fact, you can actually beat a gym in like four minutes. So, depends on what Pokemon you are. Right, so I can uh, rage it to the end here. Talk to him because he always praises you. There we go. Hey, Dawn's here again. Well, let me guess, you lost your Pokedex. Hey! <laughs> I thought so. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. So we have to go get this. I'm guessing this is where I get fly from. It's also, you always like get uh, your HM from another side mission sort of thing. And obviously this is our side mission for this. And obviously I'm going to be taking down Team Galactic as well. So I'm going to heal my Pokemon and go right into that. We'll restore your tired and full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yeah. Take a Pokemon for a few seconds. I've got a message, so I'll be back. That's it. Actually, one of my friends messaging me on Facebook when I'm recording, not the... Not the awesome thing to do. When I'm recording a game, I'll be have to go get my laptop and bring it up here. Alright. So I'll, I don't know why I'm resting them again, but there we go. Not the best of timing. Right, there we go. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a major annoyance, but I had to message my friend back. Alright, so let's go, continue on. Um, Alright, so let's go meet that door in front of the warehouse. I don't know if I can get to it from here. I think I can. Maybe? No, it's not Dawn, is it? Let's see. They look the same. Actually, they don't look anything like. Well, they do, actually. She, she does. I think I got my stick. Oh, there she is. I remember them bitches, yeah. Let's definitely get battling. We got the double battle. We got the double battle going on. We got flame, and I think she picked a tear twig. Hopefully, it's not a tear twig. She's got a Clefairy, which is not awesome. As you remember from my other episode, the Clefairy did not help me at all. Flame wheel on that Zubat. Awesome! I think we have two Pokemon each, obviously. They're not amazing, because they're, they're, they're only grunts. They're only grunts. Confusion Ray is annoying. And it happened to do it on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. Clefairy uses gravity. What the hell? What's the point of that? 
Does that mean that the fairy is not flying anymore? And I can use fire that one I can use ground type moves? I'm not sure, but I'm confused and she's still not helped to move anything yet. Hey, level 35. Um, so I think we're one more level away from becoming Inferno, which is our last form, evolution form. What should we say? And that Astonish did nothing. Hopefully that puts it to sleep, but like I said, the fairies are absolutely useful. I mean, useless. Not useful, they're definitely not useful. Zubats are awesome. Actually, Zubats are awesome because they're annoying. They're annoying and they're common as well. Most of the bad guys have Zubats. Or like, let's say you were playing Pokemon Fire Red, they'd have some type of bat. If you know what I mean. Like now, she wants to use the big powerful move, but she doesn't want it. Stunky. She... I'll never get a Clefairy, alright? That's all I'm gonna say. You notice how I've beaten every single one of these Pokemon and she's not even done one thing. Apart from that, and if it kills it, that's great. Giga Drain. I do like Metronome because it can pick a random move and the move can actually be amazing. S like, say if you was fighting a fire gym and they did the last move, um, and then you had to rob like a Togepi and that was your last Pokemon you were like, oh my god, I don't have any moves. And then you go Metronome and then it actually does Hydro Pump. You are one lucky son of a bitch, I tell you. But we beat him anyway, we beat him. The only grunts anyway, let's go into the warehouse. Um, I should be getting... I should be getting Fly from inside this warehouse. Oh, yeah, let's super spy man. Have no fear, I have come running. I heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. No one likes this guy, he just tags along and follows you around. He's a bit of a stalker, but... He's alright. I, I don't even know if I've battled with him yet. I don't even know if he's got any good Pokemon or anything. <laughs> Probably hasn't. No matter more interest, more criminal behaviour, Team Galactic does attempt to steal the belongings of a child. The scale of their criminality seems to be rather minuscule. The trouble of their actions make them more sinister, perhaps. Their warehouse needs investigation. Come with me, and we'll take a look. Not a big, not a very big warehouse, is it? It's just hmm, keys necessary. For the time being, we cannot give those chairs from away. So I have to go and get a key. Is that the key? Ah, right, nice. So that's fly, then. That's the hidden move fly. Alright, so I'm gonna get fly. Awesome. Um. We can't get in there without a key card. So let's head to the game centre. I don't know if you say that again. Right, so he's saying stuff about the game corner. So I think he wants us to go check that out, but before I do that I want to get that Eevee. So let's bag that and get the THM. Fly. Old Fed HM. 
yeah. Obviously we're saving Star of the, the Fly. We do want to get rid of the move, yeah. We want to get rid of... Whirlwind... Let's get rid of Whirlwind. Not amazing. Forgot to use Whirlwind and learn to fly. Right, so... <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to sound like that. Star of Year, we can use Fly now. Um, if I remember where the Eevee is... I think it was Half Room City, that... If I go down from Half Room City... Look, now, I can fly now, that's awesome. Fly anywhere I want, makes the game a lot easier. There we go, right. So if I go down from here, I think there might be a kid who's... Stop puffing out. Um, I think he said south from Half Room City. No. If I go down. Oh, not the interviewers. Is he blocking the way? God's sake. Alright, um, give me a sec guys, I definitely want to go get this EV, so I'll pause it and we'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I read right, actually. It is in Half-Room City, but it's, n it's actually in Half-Room City, it's not anywhere outside of it. So, it sh um, it's basically said, it's right next to EV's, it's right next to this, so this should be it, this should be the house. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yes, please. I was looking for that. Thank you very much. Alright, nice. We just got given an Eevee just like that. <laughs> no, because I like the name Umbreon once it evolves. Alright, so like I said, I'll be trying to evolve that. It's level 20, so it's alright. Um, Just need to feed it a poffin. Um, if I have one. Because um, it's supposed to be happy and then once it levels up it evolves when it's happy at night. But I don't know. I don't even have one. I don't know. Let's just um, head over back to that other city. But that's pretty awesome. So as soon as it's night time I'll go leveling up that Eevee. Um, hopefully we'll get an Umbreon. Uh, back over to Bellstone City. Alright, we're back. All right. So, like the guy said before, we need to head into the game corner. That's the department store. The game corner is there, as you can see from the flashing lights of the outside. Alright, head into there. And um, basically talk to everyone. Listen to the raving music if you can hear it. Coin case. It's all about coin case. You can talk to this kid. So I need a coin case to be able to get anything in there. But I don't think that's the main part of the story. I think the main part... There's a clown giving him away. I think the clown's over here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so we got a coin case from guessing the right hand. Alright, that was easy enough. So we'll head back down into the casino. We can actually do some gambling now. Alright. 
so everyone's. <laughs> you gave me 50 coins. What a, what a generous guy. It'd be a bit, weird, it'd be a bit awesome if they if they didn't patch the game and they just kept giving you 50 coins each time he spoke to them. That'd be awesome. A friend. So let's should we give it a go? Let's try. Let's see all, what all the rage is about. X is in sight. Oh. Get anything? Nearly. What was the last one? No love. Try it one more time. Ah, I think we'll we'll get we'll give that a rest. But now to get out, there we go. Ah, God. You always have uh, press the button and you end up talking to him again. There we go. There's 20 coins, thanks a lot. Alright. Um, I don't know, let's stick a 50 coins on. 50 coins was a grand, so that guy was pretty generous in giving us 50 coins. Alright, let's go and check out next door, because next door is where you can buy the prizes. And there is actually some Pokemon you can buy through the prizes as well. It's pretty awesome. So, obviously, all... Everything is way too expensive. Overpriced. What is that? 20 grand? Giga Impact? Holy crap. Gyro Ball. I definitely have not got enough to get any of them, so let's just give up. You must get quite a lot of coins from the place then. Um, the guy said he wanted me to listen out in here. I've spoken to everyone in the game corner. No one's talking about anything about Team Rocket. Um, well, that's it. Oh, yeah, just clicks off the friggin' thing. There we go. Alright, well. I need a special key code, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so it says I have to go. Um, it says I have to go. Um, go back to that building that guy was in. So it has nothing to do with Game Center at all. Um, over here. He shouldn't be there anymore. No, he's over there.
Pastoria City. I don't know if that implies I have to go to Pastoria City. In fact, let's check where Pastoria City is. I might have already been there before, I don't know. In fact, let's just go onto the fly menu. Easy way to check the map. Uh, Pastoria City. No, I haven't been there. Um, so we went there, we tried to go there before, but we couldn't. So let's go head down from here and see if we can get there. As I did read something about going to the lake from and um, talking to one of the bosses. So we might as well have a look. Obviously, someone wants to battle us, which is good here. Because no one likes to battle when they're up to a good little storm. Psychic Abigail. I'm just looking through the guide now. You don't actually get hardly anything from doing the, from trying out the, the what do you call it? What is it? It's the arcade. If you do win, you don't get much. Like if you got three Pikachu's in a row, you get 15 coins. So if you did want to get the grand prize, you'd be sat there for about a day trying to do it. <laughs> And that's what Ralts turns into. I was saying how Ralts was awesome. That's not his final form, but I do like Ralts. It would be good to have a Ralts. Well, you'll see Wally. I don't, no, it's not Wally, is it? That's Pikmin Ruby. Um, I don't think anyone has a Ralts. See, I get confused within the Pokemon games because well, if you're playing them both at the same time, you do get mixed up with one another. With one another. Killed it. Yeah, remember that aftermath. Freaking let me lose against the boss last time. Alright, so we beat that woman. I don't even I don't want to go in that cave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm oh, gonna know. <laughs> Hate it when they spin round like that. You cannot block. You can't block them. You try and avoid them, but you just can't do it. I actually don't have many Pokemon. Two. It's not. It's not terrible, is it? Psychic Mitchell. Uh, Psychic Michelle. Michelle. Alright, um. Flame wheel I'll have to do. I'll have to get any flame attack soon. I don't want to switch Kadabra though. Kadabra's a badass. The 
You should see, this is what I thought I had at the start of the um, start of the video, but obviously I didn't. Mix up. Fur Cadabra fainted. I thought I was going to say when I had that thing in the walls. But I've nearly evolved. I don't know if I'll do it this episode, because we are 40 minutes, but we're 41 minutes in. And Linden should be on soon, so I'll be back on Diablo, but I wanted to get, like I said, I don't want to keep you guys bored. I like to get another video out, and as this guy is going to want to verse me. Graveler. Hey. Actually, I leveled up mine from a year, dude, so... You know, but hey, it's get my memories in when you level up from Gia, dude. So he does check. Let's see if he does move. There we go. Lake Valor. So that is where we want to be going. If he turns. Come on, turn. There we go. So Lake Valor should be down here, if I save it. Valor Lake from... So Valor is one of the other places where you can catch a legendary. I don't know if you remember it right at the start of the game. We actually wanted to go and catch a legendary, me and Dom. But obviously we couldn't. Um, because we didn't have any Pokeballs or anything. But that is another lake from... Just like Lake Valor. Stop, stop, yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which is down. Ah, right. That's the last city just before the Elite Four, that sunny, sunny Shore City. Which is pretty awesome. Alright. Lake Valor should be around here somewhere. It's not Lake Valor though, is it? That's a beach. Um, let's have a look on the the old bag, the old map. Valor Lake from so we've gone past it. Should, we should be going to the left up here. Down here. Should be. I don't know, this is like a bloody beach resort. Peepee up. Alright. So it's there. So then people won't let me in. Alright, let me just have a look at my... Get the key to the... Good guy, this. Um. Right, I think we're gonna have to fly the, the way back. But we did get um, a waypoint, a checkpoint. In fact, I don't even think we did. <laughs> so that was pretty pointless. Oh well. Try, try again. So there's no one in there. If remember. So 
so none of them want to give me a key. I suppose it doesn't help that I have the diamond and pearl guide, because this is platinum. But um, it has changed quite a bit. Special key. Alright, so I have found out where the key is now. The key is to the left of Arson City in a warehouse. So there should be a warehouse. Well, I say there should be. Um, probably won't be. Alright, if I get the guy gets out of my way, I can go. Northwest. Which is not northwest. Is that the warehouse? They're not calling that the warehouse, are they? Yeah, they are. My mouse is in the way again. You don't get the special key from the warehouse, though. Your piece to take a special key. I'm concerned over what I have overheard in, and in the game corner the Team Galactic have transported something to Pastoria City. What are they up to? Pastoria City. I don't think I need to find this Team Rocket. And go to Pastoria City. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna end it here. Um in the in the next episode I will head over to Pastoria City just to check and if if anything's not there it's blocking the way. I'll come back and I'll find a special key. Um so I'll speak to you guys in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed, give me a thumbs up or a like, um and tell me if I should improve in any way. Thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you later.